Hello, welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. This is another episode that we are going to take. In today's episode, we are going to look at an interesting subtopic that will help us in our analysis a lot in applied electricity. What we are going to look at is branches, nodes, and loops or loops. This is very interesting and very helpful once you are able to identify a branch, a node, and a loop. Very interesting. So now, this is a representation of what? A circuit. So our circuit is here. How do we identify a branch here? How do we identify a node? And how do we identify a loop? So straight away, a branch in any electrical circuit, a branch is generally a two-terminal element. Remember, it is two-terminal for an element. We've already talked about elements. That's the building block of what? A circuit. Are we okay? So it's generally a two-terminal element we use to build an electrical what? circuit two terminal elements. Now, a branch is a circuit element such as voltage, current source, a resistor, a capacitor, an inductor. Are you okay? Yes, all these are our elements. So what we are saying is very simple. If you want to identify a branch from a circuit, just find the elements of the circuit. So this is one element, a source. This is a resistor. This is an element. So second element. This is a resistor. So a third element, a resistor. Fourth element. This is another source. Fifth element. Are we okay? So you identify all the elements in the circuit. Once you identify them, they will help you to know the number of branches we have. So meaning this two terminal from one, let's label A, B, C, D. E, F, G, H. So when you take terminal A and E, this whole length is what? A branch. This is one branch because it is a two terminal what? Element. This is an element, a voltage source. That's what we are saying. A branch is an element such as a voltage source or a current source. Are you okay? So this is a current source. Are we okay? So it is one branch. When we look at this second branch from point A to B, the terminal, when you take it away, there is a resistor here, which makes it what? A branch. When you look at B and F, when you take these two terminals, there is a resistor, which also makes it a branch. The same thing happens to C and G. When you take it, it is a branch because there is an element between them. D and H, there is also a source here, which makes it what? A branch. Now let's look at C and D. This is just a wire. Are we okay? So it is not a branch. True or false? That's true. This is, there is no branch. There is no branch here because there is no what element, being it active or passive element. But once I bring a resistor here, this B and C becomes what one branch because there is an element here. Are we okay? So it is very simple. A branch is a two terminal element that we use to build a circuit. So you identify all the elements in the circuit, then you choose the branch. Very simple. It's either a voltage or a current source, a resistor, a capacitor, or an inductor. So from E to F, if I bring a capacitor here, this circuit, if I bring a capacitor here, then E and F becomes what? One branch because it has what? An element, a building block. Are we good? So we should pay attention to all this. And know the difference when we are taking a branch. Is that good? Okay, so now we know what a branch is. Let's look at nodes. 
Now, a node. A node is a point where two or more branches are connected. The reason why you should know a branch is any point where two or more branches, that's elements, two terminal elements meet, they are going to form a node. So look at this circuit. So a node is represented by a dot in an electrical circuit. So wherever there is a node, you just dot the junction or the point. Are we okay? So look at this circuit. This is one element which makes a this part a branch. This A and B point is also having a resistor, which makes this as what? A branch. Is that true? Yes. Look at these branches. Branch one. Let's call this branch one. And this branch as two. Branch one and two are meeting at point A. Therefore, we have node A as our first node. Are we good? Okay. Looking at this branch one, let's also look at from C to B, there's an element here. So, which makes this from C to B a branch? Is that true? Yes, it makes it a branch from C, the point C to the point B. Checking this wire, there's a resistor here. So, all this is a branch. And this branch, let's call it branch 3. It meets, this is also a branch because there is a resistor here. So we can see that branch 1, which is this branch, branch 3, this is branch. We also have another branch here. Let's call it branch 4. They all meet at B, which makes B what? A node. Can you see it? Yes. This is a branch. This 5 coming is also a branch. From C to this is also a branch, and they are all meeting at what? B, making it branch what? B. Maybe the writings are becoming too much. You don't see them. Very simple. So we have A, we have A as a node 1, and B as node 2, meeting point of this, that, and that. And even when you check this part C, let's look at it. Part C, it also has branch one, branch two meeting, and this is what? A node. Are you okay? Why is here not a node? Because there's only one branch here. This is not a branch. Therefore, this is not a node. Is that true? Yes. So a node is the point or the meeting point of two or more branches. A branch contains an element and a node is the meeting point of two or more elements. A has this and that meeting. B has this and that and that meeting. C has this and that two meeting. Therefore, it makes it what? A node. I hope by now you may have understood what a node is. All these are important because we are going to use them in analysis, in whatever rule we are going to talk about in our next or upcoming episode. It's very interesting and you have to understand the base. That's why I'm taking my time to teach you any of the smallest thing you need to know. Are you okay? Now, a loop. A loop. Very simple. A loop is any closed part in a circuit. A closed part in a circuit. So when I draw this circuit, so this is a source. Let me call this A, B, C, D. This is a loop. Any closed part. You can see that this is closed. This circuit is what? Closed. The circuit is closed. 
when you say it is closed, you know what it means by closed. Now, if I have it this way, it is not a closed circuit, right? Yes. So I cannot say this is a loop. But once it is closed, now it becomes a loop. And a loop starts from a point and ends at the same point. So I'll, this loop is called loop. A, B, C, D, A. In order to close it, this is loop A. It started from A, B, C, D. Because when you stop at D, this is not a loop. It is not closed. So you have to come back to A in order to close it. So this is the loop. Are you okay? Now, let's look at this circuit. If we can see some loops here. From A. Let me label it so this is A, B, C, D, there's C here. So there's C. So let's call here D, E, and F. Now we want to identify closed loops. Let me start from this first. Let me call here one. This is two. This is three. From the first one. You can see that it is closed. So this is a circuit that is closed from here. We have another line, another line, and it is closed this way. So can you see the image I'm trying to create? So it is closed in that way. So this is a loop. So the name of this loop, if I'm starting from B, will be loop B, D, E, C, in order to close it, B. This is one loop. So loop B, D, E, C, and B is one loop. It's a closed path. Why are we studying these loops? It is very interesting and very useful. Remember, we have a lot to learn in the upcoming episode. And when I say a loop, you should have an idea of what I mean. From one point or over a closed path to its original point is what? A loop. Now, let me look at the second one from B. So B is also closed this way. Look at this. It is closed back to B again. Is that true? Yes, it is closed. So if I want to get this second loop, it is starting from the B. My loop is loop B. I'll come back to C, C, and it will go back again to B. B. So this is the loop, right? The same thing from this A, B, C, and F. It will also form a closed path again. Because from A to B is closed, you pass here, come back to C, you go back to F, now you go back to A. It is also a closed path, right? Yes, it is also a closed path. So I'm going to get a loop from it. So the third loop starting from a is going to be loop a b c f and a as the loop again are we good so it's interesting for loops and we should know how to fish out the loop from a circuit is that true okay so this branch node and loop idea is very useful so we now know what a branch is. This is a branch. This is a branch. This is a branch. This is a branch. Is that true? Okay. And we also know what a node is, the meeting point of two or more branches. So this is a node. This is a node. This is a node. And we know that a loop is a closed path. So this is one loop, the second loop, and the third loop. This is going to help us a lot. Thank you for watching this episode. Subscribe to, subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop your comments, and let us know what we are doing. Are we doing our best? Are we helping? So that we can see how best we can also go by. Check out for the next episode.